This here is an elm tree. And elm trees are a tree that we tend to associate with death. There's an old saying in Britain, elm hateth man and waiteth. And there's two possible reasons for that. One possibility is that it's because often large trees drop branches quite suddenly and perhaps people walking in the forests used to get hit by them. And also because it was traditionally a good source of coffin wood, so maybe it was because we got buried in them. But there's another thing we associate death with elm about, and that's in the 1960s. You may have heard about Dutch elm disease. And one of the reasons you don't tend to see big elm trees in the UK anymore is because a fungal disease which is spread by a bark boring beetle got taken around all the elm trees in the UK and any elm tree above say that kind of diameter was killed by the bark beetle and it's still around at the moment and so large elm trees still tend to get taken out by it. But the elms have survived this. Uh, they, some of the species, not this particular species but many species of elms sucker. They produce roots that can then grow up into new trees and even when the large stems die, the roots still survive and they can come up from the ground again. And so things like this small elm here are hanging around in the understories of forests and they'll come back again in the future. And the other thing to bear in mind is that elms have all died before in the past. So we think that this 1960s killing of the elm trees was this rare and incredible event, but actually it's happened many times in the past. In the 18th century, you used to be able to buy insurance for your elm trees. And why would you need insurance for a tree if you didn't think it was going to die? And if we go way back into the past, the Romans used to use elm trees to weave their vines around for their wine. And it's reported by some of the agricultural authorities 2,000 years ago that there was a plague that went through the Roman Empire and wiped out all their elm trees, but that later we know that they came back. So it seems that this battle between this Dutch elm disease and our elm trees is a long ongoing thing over thousands of years. And so the elm trees might not be winning at the moment, but they'll be back. This one's a witch elm. You can tell from the shape of the leaves. They've got these jagged edges into the leaves. And you can see a slight W shape formed by these two points on the tips of the leaf. 